Hello, this is Strategy Vigilante. This is Rule the Waves 2. We are in the Second Franco-Italian War. Uh, we've been at war for three months. The good news is we are blockading them. They're a little bit ahead on victory points right now, but I think our fleet should strongly outmatch theirs. If the war goes on long enough, we'll get a lot of new ships in service pretty soon, especially in a lot of new destroyers, which will be nice. And so for now, let's just uh, see how this goes. Play out a few turns and see if we can maybe take Sardinia. All right, no, we're not going to negotiate for peace yet. All right, so we've got a convoy defense mission. I'm actually, I assume we're defending a convoy. We'll see. Okay, apparently we have no ships in the re region. That's not good. And now we're blockaded, but we're also blockading them. So I think what we can do is take some ships and send them back up to Northern Europe and get out of that blockade while also not being blockaded ourselves. So if I take the Villiers, move it to Northern Europe, I take one of the Bernadottes, move it to Northern Europe, and I take a few of these destroyers in the med here, send them to Northern Europe. Hopefully that should resolve the situation. All right, we sunk a bunch of their merchant ships with our subs. And now we've got a convoy attack. With a bunch of our big ships. Hopefully we can find them. I think that's them. Let's accelerate the battle cruisers to squad max and go after them in the rain. Thankfully we've got a few hours before night falls, so hopefully we can catch them. All right, looks like that's their convoy. Let's start causing trouble. It's a big one. Ooh, and they've got one of their own battleships around, too. That's a big one. And one of their battle cruisers. Oh, this is quite a quite a collection here. Torpedo dust. Well, hopefully the Richelieu can do some good damage here. Yeah, they had a Jutland moment. All right, I think it's time to go home. We've done enough. Oh dear, they got one of our battle cruisers. So it's going to be kind of an evenly matched sort of thing. We lost a big ship, they lost a big ship. We each had some damage to some big ships. And now we all kind of slowly limp home in the rain.
All right. Yeah, go ahead and enter port. All right, so we lost a battle cruiser. They lost a dreadnought. We each had some heavy damage, and we sank fifteen of their uh, transport ships. So great success. We'll call that one the convoy off Sardinia. Although it looks like we're not blockading them now. Let me see. Yeah, I guess because of our ships that are damaged right now. So I'm going to go ahead and move the Villiers back to the Med. See if I can get them blockaded. Sure, we'll see what the army can do. All right, I don't think they had any ships off our trail there. Now they do. Let's see what the Forbin can do. What is the Forbin, anyway? Oh, it's one of our new Yasser class. Hopefully it does an okay job. Looks like just a fellow light cruiser. See if we can get some better information on it. Oh, just a destroyer. Well, unless they get a lucky torpedo hit, I think we can take them. Off the coast of Eritrea here. Although, with them being a destroyer, we might not be able to catch them. They're pretty fast. Aha. Uh -huh. There they are. Off the chasing them through the Red Sea. There they are. See if we can't get some good shots in now. Kind of surprised they haven't tried to turn and do a torpedo strike on us. Oh, I think we might have them cornered here. As night falls. All right, we sank them. Good job. The seas around the Red or the Red Sea is safe for France. Now, unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to halt construction on a couple of these guys to save funds for the main stuff so that we can get those done before the budget runs out. There we go. Yeah, go ahead and put the same air base on in the Antilles. No, we're going to push for total victory, for now anyway. Ooh, a new fighter aircraft. Let's see. It's marginally better. Sure, we'll develop it.
Oh, that's a lot of rating they're getting there. That's not good. I think the thing is, I'm at a little bit of an inflection point where uh, ships got more expensive, and so I just don't have quite enough little ships to properly uh, do the trade protection duties. So I keep getting caught short in terms of numbers of ships around, which is not ideal. Uh, what I probably should do the next time there's a war, it might be too late this time, is build a bunch of little, like, 500-ton corvettes just for the duration of the war. They'll actually... The game treats them as, like, converted civilian shipping, and they get scrapped or returned to civilian service after the war. So you don't get to keep them. But they would be nice to be doing these patrol duties so that my destroyers would be free to actually show up in battles more often and cause some trouble for the enemy. Okay, the army offensive was a spectacular failure. And the amount of raiding they're getting up to is concerning. All right, here are our big ships off on a raiding mission against this Italian port. Unfortunately, night is falling. So, hopefully this will either last long enough we can come in today, or we can just sort of bumble into someone. We shall see. Off the Libyan coast here. Maybe we can find a nice land target to shoot at, if nothing else. Yeah, there's somebody. Well, we saw him and then they were gone. Turn around, go see what that was. And that's the problem, is at this point, with night time, you're really not doing any air operations. Oh, but it looks like uh, it's twilight, and now it's daytime. Hopefully we can find somebody now. Hey, there was somebody. Go over and see what that was. Like just a transport. All right, there's one ship sunk. Send you two over towards Tobruk. Yeah, if you two keep scouting around Benghazi. Well, I think this might be... Ah, oh, these look like some Corvettes here. Alright, we did the minimum. We got two of their ships.
let's get this transport sink it or force it to surrender and then we can go home All right, a nice little minor victory. Keep adding those up and keep up the blockade and we'll have this one in no time. Looks like their raiders didn't have any luck today either. That's good. Oh dear. Don't quite know how that happened. They clearly have ships in the area. All right, let's get some of these ships that I halted back into construction. Now the budget's going positive. No, we can win this. We're blockading them in the long run. Oh dear. This is reminding me of that first war with Germany, except for on the other side now. We're getting the uh, ships not showing up for no reason that I can figure out. Well, hopefully these six new destroyers will fix the issue. No, we can fight on. I mean, we have no national unrest. The people are behind us. Here we go. Now we're ready to invade Sicily. Or Sardinia, excuse me. So somewhere we should have a swarm of transports. I think that's this little dot. And we've got our big ships out to try and defend them. Yeah, there's our swarm of transports. Let's keep you two kind of with the swarm of transports. And you two can go out scouting and see where the enemy lurks. Okay, there's somebody trying to challenge our invasion force. Turn around and give them what for. And there's some of, I think those are our scouting zeppelins. All right, not too much longer, and we should make it to a landing point. Oh, trying to sneak up on us. Get out of there. Oh, interesting. It's a seaplane carrier. I don't think they can really do that much yet. They've Naval striking is pretty primitive at this point.
All right, keep chasing them away. Uh, now I think we can turn back and rejoin the main group. And night is falling. Going to be difficult for them to catch us now. All right, the landings begin. Soon Sardinia will be French. I better put these guys back towards it in case they do some sort of last minute lunge towards our forces there, especially as dawn comes. Oh no, hopefully they didn't sink it. No, they just damaged it. Okay, no big deal. Glorious victory in the invasion of Sardinia. And now that we've got this swarm of new Rousseau class destroyers, let's move a bunch of them to the med. And I'd like a couple more Rousseau's, actually. Oh, and we can resume construction on the Strasbourg here. Interesting. All or nothing armor. Okay, see now we've got a proper proper fleet here, you see. We got these screening ships, we got the battle cruisers. Now we can really show them what for. As dawn rises. Go hit this land target off of Messina here. Well, let's go see what this ship is first. Basically, a lot of these missions just kind of sail around looking for trouble. And here's another one. Oh, it looks like they've got a little flock of destroyers. Let's accelerate to squad max and go after them. See if I can get our destroyers to do some good torpedo runs. If these are the Rousseau class, they have a lot of torpedoes on them. Uh, 
Oh, we're definitely doing some hits. If we can sink this battle cruiser, that would be a that would be a good step. Yeah, I think we got him. All right, that's got to be the end of them there. Great success. Yeah, we'll pick up survivors. And, well, we sank a battle cruiser. I think it's time to go home. Let the clock run out a little bit. Ah, there's some of our, well, some of those are Zeppelins, but some of those are fighter aircraft, I think, too. Doing some local air patrol. All right, that sounds good. Battle of Capo Vaticano. Yeah, let's build a couple more submarines. I think these are some of our Rousseau class. Let me see. Yes, these are our modern destroyers. They're very fast. As you can see, if I set them to squad max, well, right now it didn't seem to want me to let me do anything with them. Let's see. Here we go. If I set them to squad max, they'll go 31 knots. It's pretty great. See if we can do a torpedo run on these guys. Ah, there was a torpedo they were lobbing. Missed, but you know, we're at least you're giving it a shot. Ooh, the Arbalet is not looking so good. Neither is the Durham Doll. Maybe I uh, got a little cocky with the new destroyers there. Yeah, I think they definitely got the Arbalette sunk, and they, if night falls, we can maybe get away with the other one, though.
See if the Durandal can't sneak away in the night. So minor victory for the Italians, but as long as we can keep up the blockade, I think we basically are going to win by default in the end here. Ah, nice. if we find anybody. Maybe our Zeppelin scouts can help too. Although with night falling, we might not find anybody. Wow, the Italians have been going nuts building aircraft. I should maybe build a few more. Now, mostly they've just been losing them in operational losses, though, so... Maybe I shouldn't build that many. Okay, let's see if we can sink their convoy or something. Okay, I think that's their convoy. Let's go get in there and mess them up. Ah, they have a battle cruiser also, the Umbria class. That's a big one, but not that heavily armed. And it looks like our destroyers are actually doing some good job with the torpedoes. Yeah, a couple of torpedoes on the Umbria, that can't be good for them. We'll run amok in the convoy and then come back and make sure the Umbria is sunk. Ooh, they got us with the torp. Ooh, they got us with two torps. We might lose a ship, too. Yeah, they they got the Duxen. But we got the Umbria. So I think given that we destroyed most of their convoy, that'll count as a win. But I'd definitely pay the cost for it. As we go chase the remainder of the convoy down. I 
Hey, nice. We get a destroyer. So interestingly, I was reading, the reason they call them destroyers is because the idea was they were worried in the 1890s or so about the big ships. Uh, when they were starting to think about the all big gun concept for a dreadnought, they were worried about, well, what's it going to do if a swarm of torpedo boats come after it? And the big guns are like too slow moving to properly hit them. And so they said, well, we'll have torpedo boat destroyers. We'll have these small ships around specifically to destroy the torpedo boats. And they were called destroyers. Now, interestingly, the destroyers do a lot of torpedoing of their own. Okay, yep, we each lost a battle cruiser, but they also lost 15 merchant ships. And so it's a minor victory. Sure, we'll call this one the Battle of Sardinia. We are still behind 7,000 victory points, but they've been blockaded for like a year and a half now. That cannot be good for them. Now, let me look at these uh, air groups here. Get rid of these flying boats. And bring the proper fighter craft up to 20. And, you know, I would like to have another air base. Let's see. I'd like to have one in China. And Qingdao would be nice for if we go after Japan someday. And one in Madagascar would be good. And one in Corsica would be good, too. Okay, we just keep supporting the land combat at Sardinia. All we got this time is a few destroyers, though. And it looks like they're up against a convoy, basically, with some escorts. So, wreak havoc with your torpedoes. Yeah, look at them. They've got a ton of torpedoes now. They can just go nuts with them. All right, we're doing a good job preventing them from resupplying their forces on Sardinia. At least that's kind of what I assume this is for. It's to stop them from resupplying their forces on Sardinia. So much so, we're starting to run out of ammo. Just one more little block of them left.
All right, let's declare victory and go home. Sank one destroyer and a ton of transports. Twelve of them. Let's call this one the Convoy off Sardinia. Mm, that's got quite a range, 221 miles. Italians might be a little ahead of us on guns, but we just took Sardinia, so who cares? Let's see if we can get another target down here. Well, next up, why not Libya? Hmm, no, I don't think I'm interested in this one. It seems kind of just worse than the others. Ooh, it's a gale. Dramatic. Ah, they got us with a torpedo, which is interesting, because I didn't think Corvettes could carry torpedoes. I thought that was like the difference between Corvettes and Destroyers in this game. But I think the weather is keeping us from doing any uh, airship scouting or anything like that. Hopefully the wind will die down. If not, we might be able to find their convoy, I don't think, especially with night falling. Yeah, they got us that time. All right, I think it's a convoy of theirs. That's what it looks like. Off we go to do more commerce rating. Hopefully we can get that light cruiser too. Yeah, it looks like we got the Toronto there. 
dead in the water. Go back over and see if we can sink a little less to the convoy before night falls. All right, well, night is falling. Let's call that good and go home. Oh, except for we bumbled into another stack of them. Now let's go home. All right, we got a light cruiser. We got sure Battle of Malta. Feel like I should have ships to uh, to oppose them in that situation, but sometimes it seems kind of random. Okay, there's a little tiny seaplane carrier for the Germans. It's got ten aircraft on it. We're gonna have to start looking into carriers. Well, I kind of want to skip out of the seaplane carriers and just go straight into the proper the proper carriers as it were all right now they're declining now we're catching up and we passed them in victory points good job boys all right ooh now that's a ship the British, they know how to build. Look at all those forward-facing guns. Oof. Don't want to mess with the Royal Navy quite yet. That's for sure. Ah, oh, interesting. A better model. Beautiful. I'd love to have a better model. What's better about it? That's a little tougher. Has a little bit better fighter ability. All right. Sounds good. See if we can find anybody today with our two destroyers. All right, apparently nobody could find each other today. All right, let's keep pushing for victory. And I think because of the length of blockade, they gave up. And so I can take from them, well, I can take Eritrea and Libya. Let's do that. And we also get to keep Sardinia. So, in the aftermath of that, the Italians still have Rhodes, and they still have Sicily. I don't think Sicily's actually takeable. I think if it's at a value of 12, you can't actually take it. I think the biggest one you can take is a value of 10. 
So, like, you can't take India from Great Britain by sea, for example. But, May 1925, victory in the Second Italian War. There was a lot of back and forth. It would be good if we had some more small ships. In fact, that's what I'm going to do right now, I think, is design a new Corvette class. And, okay, enough of these ships are going to be done soon that I should be able to get back to a positive budget pretty quick. So let's run the turns a little bit here. Ooh, quad torpedo tubes. All right, let's design a new Corvette. 1,200 tons, just a little guy. Twenty-two knots. You know, this doesn't need to go super fast. This is more just for kind of scouting, trade protection. It's going to lay mines. It's going to sweep mines. It's going to have a little bit of anti-aircraft stuff on it. It's going to have a little bit of everything is the idea. I'd bring it up to 1,500. And we'll just plock on Bunch of little four inch guns here. Okay, these little ships, all they can have is local fire control. All right, we'll call this the Brumaire. It'll be 1,400 tons. Okay, not allowed to have mines. I'll take those off. Going up to speed 23. All right, we have the Brumaire. Really, we should build 18 of them. <laughs> but for now, we'll build five of them. And now I'd like to, if I can, yeah, I would love to have a torpedo bomber. Um, I'd like to have range as its first priority and bomb load as its second priority. And let's see what the design bureaus can come up with for that. Oh, our new subs are done. Beautiful. Now with these new territories, I'd like to have some airship bases on them. Uh, let's see. Heritrea needs an airship base. And Sardinia could use an airship base. Oh, there's already an airship base in Sardinia. Okay. Um, Libya, that's the other one that I'd like an airship base in. Uh, why not at Tobruk? All right, let's start preparing to get a little tension with Japan. We could do a epic naval campaign against them next. Although they don't have that much to take. Hokkaido and Taiwan, I guess. 
Although in the long run, really painting the map is not that useful. Uh, eventually the colonies start providing less and less income to your nation. Eventually you get sort of decolonization events where you start having to give them up. So really it kind of makes more sense to just like demand reparations from them, but you know, you gotta think, you gotta paint the map. I mean, what would France do at this time? They'd paint the map. So that's what you do is you paint the map. All right, irritate the Austro-Hungarians. Always a good idea. Ah, beautiful airships. Sure, you know, we just fought a war with you guys, but I'm not really worried about you right now, so we'll go ahead and give you some... Hey, our torpedo bomber types. Beautiful. All right, the Loire de Oliver. That's pretty good. 156 miles. Pretty good quality of armament. This is the one we will develop. The Loire at Oliver. There we go. Not sure why that wouldn't work earlier. And you know what? Let's expand some of these. Two additional battleships, eh? Well, we hardly have the money. But maybe if we put a bunch of other stuff on hold. Well, this Strasbourg will be done soon. So I think what we need to do is design sort of a pocket battleship, really. Something that's only, say, you know, 15,000 tons, but still counts as a battleship. So I'll get back to you once I have design here. All right, so here's what I came up with. It does weigh 20,000 tons, so it's not quite as small as what I was thinking of initially. But it does have 12 12-inch 12 guns here. It's got these quad turrets. It's got good fire control. It's got a bunch of anti-aircraft guns on it. Good torpedo defense. 10 inches of belt, 2 inches of deck. Increased elevation on the guns, so it can shoot at pretty long range. And yeah, on balance, I think the Jean d'Arc is a pretty good ship. The question is, how am I going to... Yeah, am I going to get them through the design phase soon enough that I can not fail the Prime Minister's request? Now, in the meantime, we can do some... 
pruning of the fleet and also putting the fleet back into uh, what's it called back into reserve status send you to Southeast Asia to fix that Scrap these old Corvettes. I have new ones coming. And we're going to take a bunch of these ships and move them back to Northern Europe so that we can put them on reserve status. Ah, here's what America is building. 10 16-inch guns. Not bad. 42,000 tons. Not bad at all. All right, now I can put the fleet in reserve. Except for I'm going to leave the Richelieu on active as the flagship. Sure, we'll sell them on bracing. Ah, oh, that's a ship. Ah, better aero ships, excellent. All right, sure. And let's see, it'll cost us you know, almost 5000 a turn. But we can actually just about afford that. Once these brumaires are done, we should be able to totally afford that. And our torpedo bombers. Are ready. Ready for production here. Pretty soon we're going to have to build ourselves a carrier. Outlying submarines? Sure. I don't have that many submarines. Let's see what happens. Interesting. All submarines have been banned. That's really interesting. Of course, when the war starts, we'll all start building them again. But for now, we've gotten rid of this barbaric and uncivilized method of warfare. All right, once I have some torpedo bombers in production, we'll start putting them into the air bases. There go those Corvettes. All right, this one deserves a rebuild. Such a good ship. What if 
Ah, let's bolt some anti-aircraft guns on there. Interesting. Well, if I can't make those stronger, we'll at least increase the fire control. And we'll make it go faster. All right, we can't afford to rebuild you yet, but soon. All right, we're getting some torpedo bombers in service. Let's put some of them on our air bases. Hmm. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, let's see what happens. It just does not like my torpedo bomber. Well, maybe we'll get a new one soon and we can get this to work. Anyway, it's June 1927. We won a long and grueling war with the Italians. We're in a period of peace. Submarines have been outlawed. Building a couple of pocket battleships. I think it's a good place to end this episode. Next time... Once the pocket battleships finish, I think we'll see if we can build ourselves a proper carrier. Do I have the technology for that? Let me see. CVL conversions. Okay, so I can at least build a light carrier. Well, we'll build some light carriers. And eventually, I want to build something using these, you know, 19 or 20 inch guns once we get them. Really drop the hammer. Build, you know, a Charlemagne class battleship that's 50,000 tons. But for now, I'll go ahead and save the game. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.